Hi, this is Timothy Lotus, and today I'm going to present a brief life story of one Lillian Roth. Now, for this video, uh, we were supposed to pick somebody in the post-World War II era and talk about their life in terms of uh, the economy and uh, entrepreneurship and finances, but and that gave us a wide variety of people to choose from. It wasn't easy just picking uh, one person out of this group. I chose Lillian Roth because she's her life was uh, extremely interesting. Lots of ups and downs, a real roller coaster life. Uh, she experienced the uh, best of the best and the worst of the worst. And so I figured she'd be an interesting uh, person to talk about. You may or, or may not have heard of her. Uh, she was big. She was famous in two different eras, in the late 20s, early 30s, and in the 1950s, she had a resurgence. Uh, she was born Lillian Rutstein to a poor Jewish family, grew up in New York. Her mother was uh, what they would call a stage mother. She was obsessed with getting her daughter uh, to be an actress, uh, constantly uh, was trying to get her into shows, and... She was successful uh, by the time she was a teenager. In this picture, she's 16 years old. Uh, she was on the stage, and when the talkies came out, she was uh, got a contract with Paramount in the very uh, beginning of talking films. Uh, propelled to star, to being a star, was very popular for a brief period of time, and then she stuck more to uh, singing. She was a very good singer. And uh, that's what she did for the rest of the 30s. But she slowly became dependent on alcohol. So dependent that uh, in 1940, she was uh, put in an institution. And uh, she was declared by a psychologist as having alcoholic insanity, whatever that is, where she was delusional. Uh, and she definitely uh, fell from grace. But... Uh, in the late 40s, she uh, picked herself up and absolutely nothing, but she was determined to bring her life uh, back. And she slowly got back into singing and stage work. And it wasn't easy. Uh, she had her past and they constantly used that against her, making fun of her for, you know, her alcoholic past. And it took a while for people to take her seriously again. And she converted to Christianity, and she used this to gain more self-confidence. And she eventually uh, released a hit album of songs, and she uh, was on television. And she wrote a book that really propelled her to her fame in the 50s about, how, about her life, uh, the ups and the downs, and how she was able to pick herself up from... Uh, being institutionalized to, uh, again, using her talents to entertain. And the book was called I, I'll Cry Tomorrow, and it was so success, successful that they made a movie about her life called I'll Cry Tomorrow, starring Susan Hayward playing uh, her, Lily Roth, in the, in the movie. Uh, it was pretty successful. And uh, things looked pretty good. She was famous. She was rich. Uh, the 1950s, um, she sort of uh, was a reassuring uh, figure of the culture of the time, uh, you know, someone who found God and uh, reinvented herself. But then in 1962, everything came crashing down. Uh, her husband, who was also her manager, left her, took all the money she had, left her absolutely broke. She was, uh, she lost her home. She was homeless for a period of time. And uh, as America experienced turmoil in the 60s, so did Lillian. She went through various retail jobs, stuff that she had no experience in whatsoever, uh, being a saleswoman and working in a bakery. And, uh, you know, her life was, was just a mess for a while through no fault of her own. And then uh, 19... But the end of the 1960s, uh, she started to get her life back together. She uh, was in a, a 
Broadway stage show again, and she tried to uh, release more music, but uh, she wasn't really. She was getting older. I mean, at this point, she was in her. She was entering her sixties, and she wasn't uh, in tune exactly with the tastes of the era, which were changing rapidly at the time. Uh, she did reach somewhat success. Uh, she was able to live a fairly uh, decent life by the 1970s, uh, but never quite at the level of fame she had in the 50s and the early 1930s. Uh, she did write also another book in the 50s called Beyond My Worth. Uh, that was a more uh, religious-based book about how her uh, relationship with, uh, with God and her Catholicism uh, helped her to uh, revive her career. Not only helped her, she could have done it without it, she said. And uh, if you're ever looking for to read an interesting life story, I would suggest uh, reading about Lillian Roth. It's a very interesting person. And uh, that's why I chose her for this discussion or video. And I thank you for listening. I wish everyone uh, best of luck in future classes. Thank you.